In this video, I'm going to showing you guys how to get all 15 centerpieces right now in NBA 2K23. My team, it's crazy that they're giving us so many centerpieces in Season 3. And like I said, I'll be showing you guys how to get all 15 of them. So first one is going to be through the XP agendas or through grinding XP. And at level 39, you will get a centerpiece exchange. So that is going to be number one. And then when we talk about the first game modes. We want to talk about clutch time offline. If we scroll over to 50 wins, that will be centerpiece number two. And then once we scroll over to win number 100, that will be centerpiece piece number three i think it's a great addition from my team giving us those centerpiece uh, centerpieces at the 50 wins which is going to definitely be really cool t2 offline at 125 wins that will be centerpiece number four as you guys can see right here and then if we scroll all the way up to the top at 250 wins that is going to be another centerpiece so, so so five so far and we've only looked through two game modes if we go over to the online game modes i can't exactly show you guys this one but in co-op there's going to be one centerpiece at 25 wins and there's going to be another centerpiece at 50 wins as well well so that's going to be number six and number seven super easy to do i think it's great that they're giving us really easy centerpieces especially from playing co-op 25 wins is super fast 50 wins is super fast to get those two centerpieces so so far we're at seven and then once we talk about a limited if we scroll over to six thousand points that's going to be number eight if we scroll over to nine thousand points that's going to be centerpiece number nine if my math is correct yeah so that's number nine and number eight is going to be right here at six thousand points so nine so far and we still got a bunch of different game modes to talk about now talking about clutch time online and just like clutch time offline you're gonna, be, you're gonna be able to get another two as well one at 50 wins and then one at 100 wins as well so that's 11 centerpieces already so two from clutch time online two from clutch time uh two basically two from each game mode two from clutch time online two from unlimited two from co-op that's going to be six and eight right two from uh, clutch time offline is going to be eight and then two from t2 offline is going to be 10 and then the 11th one is going to be from level 39 so now we're at 11 and you guys are wondering how to get the last four so how to get two of them is going to be through the season three trophy case if you guys go over to the season three trophy case and you go to the 50 wins once you get 50 wins in triple threat online you will get the number 12th centerpiece once you get to 100 wins that will be the 13th centerpiece that's 13 out of the 15 all all pretty much from game modes and then the other two are going to be from the token market just like season two you're able to get two of these centerpiece exchanges for 1500 tokens one like 1500 tokens for one centerpiece that's going to be number 14 and number 15 as well and then even some bonus ones 16 and 17 is if we go to the lifetime agendas and we go to the player cards as you guys can see if i scroll down to 950 player cards that's going to be a centerpiece number 16 which is available right now I think TK and Splash have gotten these. So some people have, have enough cards, enough player cards to get the centerpiece. So for some people, they're able to get uh, 16 centerpieces from season three. And then once you get to 1100 player cards, that's gonna be centerpiece exchange number 17. So available right now for majority of people, there's 15 available from a bunch of different game modes. And then there's two from collector level for people that have been grinding collector level, they can get 16 right now. And then 17 will be available later in the season. So just to go over it one more time real quick, there's one from level 30. There's two from Clutch M offline, two from TTO offline. There's two from Co op. There's two from Unlimited, two from Clutch M online, two from TTO online, and then two from the to token market as well. So let me know in the comment section down below what do you guys think about 2K giving us all of these centerpieces? And let me know how many centerpieces you guys have right now. And let me know what centerpieces you guys are going to be going after first. But hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. If it did help you guys out, make sure you drop a like and sub down below. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.